Hello everyone, it's your boy Shaggy Haggard, Pasty Pickle here, back for another episode of Audio Purgatory. And uh, today I'm going to be talking about a handful of different things. going to be talking about the whole Astro World controversy with, uh, you know, the Travis Scott fucking festival. Uh, going to be talking about the metaverse briefly, and I'm also going to be talking about uh, the concept of saying goodbye to someone, you know, because I think it's something that um, all of us have had to have dealt with in the past, but anyway, I'm going to move on to the whole Travis Scott fucking festival, the Astro World thing, what was that? <laughs> you know, that was a complete disaster, you know, and by complete disaster, I mean, like, like, 10 people died, right, 10 people died over at Astro World. like, I, it was a complete mess from beginning to end, you know, from the people that organized the concert, uh, they didn't organize it properly to, there wasn't enough security you know, staffed, you know, there was the concert goers, you know, some of the fucking people in the concert and the festival themselves that were trampling over each other. Travis Scott was kind of partially responsible because he witnessed the whole thing go down and the motherfucker has a history of encouraging audiences to act ignorant. And the whole thing is crazy in my opinion, you know, like... Uh, I saw this girl on Facebook, and she was trying to say, like, oh, I don't understand why everyone's so interested in this Travis Scott Astro World shit. Like, are you kidding me? I just went to a concert. I mean, it was a concert from a, a, a 90s rock band, uh, you know, and it's not necessarily comparable to a concert where there's 50,000-plus people, but Jesus Christ, I can't imagine walking away from a concert or a festival knowing that a fucking a 14-year-old died in alongside, you know, several others. It was completely ridiculous, and I wonder what's going to happen legally, you know. Um, <clears throat> I did see a screenshot of uh, Travis Scott. Apparently, if this is accurate, don't know if it's fake news or not, but on Instagram, he, he kind of was bragging about how at the last minute, he kind of finessed his way into getting more people into the fucking Astro World Festival. He was able to get like a few thousand people more in at the last moment. And what that would mean to me is that... Uh, possibly security was overwhelmed you know you saw <clears throat> you, you saw motherfuckers like like twerking on the fucking uh, ambulances as they were taking out the bodies and it was completely ridiculous uh, I again I wonder what's going to become of it and uh yeah the whole fucking Travis Scott apology video was ridiculous you know he gave like a half-assed attempt at trying to look you know apologetic you know with he made sure to make it a black and white video you know, to make it extra dramatic and to really emphasize the fact that he was sorry. You know, despite the fact that he never uh, directly apologized in the video itself. But what a mess. What a mess. Uh, Travis Scott is kind of a douchebag, uh, given his past history of fucking encouraging people to breach uh, security and, and, and uh, storm barricades and just, just to act rowdy in general, uh, organized poorly, and it's a fucking crazy story in general, in my opinion. Uh, next one is going to be the metaverse I mean we've all heard of this at this point uh, the most awkward individual on this planet fucking Mark Zuckerberg has announced that Facebook is no longer Facebook no no it is meta <laughs> Facebook is meta and there's going to be the metaverse and basically the idea of the metaverse is like real life but not real <laughs> like uh, you're going to be able to interact with your friends, purchase things, uh, enjoy entertainment, all within the comfort of your own home through a simulation. And I think it's pretty fucking scary in my opinion because, like, the metaverse. He who controls the metaverse, uh, in this case, it's fucking Mark Zuckerberg, that fucking lizard-looking motherfucker. <clears throat> he who controls the metaverse controls the universe, which people live within, you know, like, I think the metaverse is a terrible idea. I mean, I can imagine it would probably uh, improve the social media experience where you can go and interact with people as if they were sitting in your fucking living room, you know, from across the country, but uh, that's going to come with a lot of uh, negative, imp uh, negative fucking side effects, I'd imagine. Like, who's going to be the one in direct control of the metaverse, you know? It's... Unless they were able to come up with a way where it was a completely transparent system where, you know, everyone was in control of the metaverse, uh, perhaps that would be a good way to approach it going forward. But it's a pretty fucking terrifying concept as far as I'm concerned. Don't mean to sound like a boomer, but I'd rather go out and see a concert in person, you know, 
not a Travis Scott concert, but I'd rather go out and see a concert in person instead of go out in the fucking metaverse and enjoy a virtual reality concert, but that's just me personally. (laughs) Fucking nuts. Uh, And the last thing I'm going to kind of cap off this episode of Audio Purgatory with is the concept of saying goodbye to someone, you know, because we've all had to do it, right? We, as adults, young adults, old adults, we've all had to do it before. Whether it's in school or within our fucking workplace, uh, we've had to say goodbye to someone, whether it's for the last time or for a long time. You know, you know, you know you're not going to see them for a long time. And I feel like it's a really, it's something you're not very well, uh, well prepared for. You know, your parents don't really teach you when you're growing up how to say goodbye to someone for the last time. You know, and you can kind of, you can kind of, get an idea of what that person thought of you as you say goodbye to them for the last time. Like if they act like it's not that big of a deal and it's kind of like a passive conversation, like, all right, bye. Yeah. You know, it's probably would make sense that they didn't really care that much about you. Whereas with other people, if you're going to say goodbye to them for the last time, you know, they're changing jobs or they're moving across States. It's, it's a semi emotional experience. You know, the whole concept of saying goodbye, it can be a potentially emotional one. And I've had to do it a, a lot over the past couple of years now. And I think it's something that as you grow, uh, you know, in age and whatnot, and you meet more people, you're going to have to get used to s- saying goodbye to someone for the last time. It's really weird. Like, all right, guess I'll never see you again. <laughs> you know, and we've all had to do it. It's fucking interesting. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go ahead and like I said, cap this episode off, uh, off of Audio Purgatory. Uh, gonna conclude it. Please like, uh, comment, subscribe, contribute to the conversation, even if you disagreed. What is there to disagree with? And, uh, goodbye.